Hi ho YouTubers, thought I'd show you the little 12 volt generator I made out of a two wire GM car alternator and an old messed up motor off of a snow blower that didn't work but I got it running. Originally I put a amp meter and a volt meter on it but they didn't work because the whole darn mess vibrated around so much you couldn't see the needles. So for the purposes of this here video I thought I'd show you the voltage using a Harbor Freight charge controller off of one of the solar systems I've bought. She charges just fine, running about 14 and a half volts of charge off of that alternator, and it works pretty good. Getting it running and charging is just part of the story, though. I got a lot more work to do for like phase two. I've got all this household service wire. It's supposed to come from the power pole to your house. It's big, heavy stuff. It's made out of aluminum. I like to say it that way, aluminum. But it'll still carry a charge just fine and won't have a lot of line loss. So I want to run it from the battery box up on the solar system for the house down to a terminal probably just inside the garage door course that wire will be a two-way street and it'll give me all kinds of versatility. For example, if it's been cloudy and there hadn't been any wind, I can use the generator to charge those batteries on the house solar system. Or I could use the house solar system to give a boost to the batteries on my solar-powered golf cart. Or even use the little generator to do that. Hmm. Or, it gives me a quick, easy way to take power from the house solar system, run it outside, hook up a big honking power inverter, and then use that power, which is then 110, to run, oh, any kind of electrical tools outside. Pretty cool. For phase three, one, two, three, ah, ah, it'd actually be kind of nice to make some kind of a permanent stand or mount so you can pull the cord easier and to tell you the truth the thing likes to dance around if you lay it on the concrete and stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, the generator will have to be removable from the stand so I can do things like, oh, I don't know, throw it on the golf cart, take it out in the woods, hook up the inverter to the generator through the golf cart batteries, and then use the chainsaw to cut some firewood, and then use the golf cart to haul the firewood home. For phase four, it doesn't make much sense to advertise where you're at in an SHTF world and that little motor is going to make so much noise with no other motors running. You could probably hear it about a gabillion miles away. So I kind of got this idea in my head that maybe if I run the exhaust down through a manifold of pipes underground, it might take a lot of the noise out of it. I don't know. What do you think? I actually have a lot of options for number five. You see, the problem is, in an SHTF world, I wouldn't be able to find any gas to run this little generator. So, I thought about, A, 
running it through a downdraft gasifier. I could build one of those pretty easy. And I could use some of that firewood I cut with the chainsaw and brought home with the golf cart to actually run the generator. Mrs. Goat Hollow had a great idea. She said maybe I could run that generator on steam power. Yes, dear. Anything you say, dear. I love you. Please don't hit me again. I do actually have another little lawnmower engine like this that's not running because it doesn't have any spark. It'd be perfect to experiment with steam, and there's lots of information on the internet and here on YouTube about how to do that. And I'll probably experiment with it later. But the front runner right now, I think what I'm going to do is probably build a great big bomb in my back yet. I mean, um, a methane digester. Whenever I get around to building one, I'll post some videos on how it's done. But for now, just do some searching on your own. What it comes down to is I can run that generator on chicken poo-poo. And I sure have a lot of poo-poo around here. The list goes on and on and on about things like how I should probably get rid of that fan belt with something that'll last a lot longer, like maybe bicycle chain, or how I could hook the little engine up to a table saw, or maybe the hand-operated washing machine that I have, or how I could hook it to my little grain mill and grind wheat, for example. Anyhow, you get the idea. I'll try to do some videos as all these projects progress. In the meantime, keep your chin up, YouTubers. We'll get through this.